Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to teach you about method hiding in C Sharp. In the last video, we have learned how inheritance works in C Sharp. So, for example, I have a base class called FC. FC stands for first class and it has a public method called display. And what this public method is doing, simply it's showing a message. And in this case, it's showing FC colon colon display. That means we are in FC class, which is our base class. Now, for example, we have second class, which is our derived class. SC stands for second class, and which is inheriting first class, which is FC, right? So this is our derived class and this is our base class and base class has one method called display right now in the main method i just created the instance or object of the second class which is a derived class and i display the message okay because second class is inheriting the first class its methods are available for use in the second class also. That's why I am using object.display because this second class can also access this method. Okay. And when I run the program, as expected, it will show this message as fc colon colon display. So let's wait for the console. And it shows as if expected FC colon colon display. Now suppose for some unknown or weird reason, second class don't want to use this method which is display. And uh, second class want to have its own display me method. It want to display its own message rather than using the display message or display method from the base class so for example it makes a bold effort to just have this display method in itself also so now our second class which is a derived class also has this display method so let me change this to sc dot display which is second class colon colon display this is first class colon colon display and this is second class colon colon display. So what do you think now will happen? This message will be shown or this message will be shown. Let's see what happens. I will run the program. And it builds. And we have the message sc which is second class colon colon display okay so this class is hidden by the derived class by using this method but look at this there is a green squiggly line here right and this uh, line showing uh, the warning to the user that method or my project dot example dot sc dot display hide the inherited member which is fc dot display okay so if you do this c sharp will warn you about this that you are hiding this method and so you will see this green line in order to remove this warning what you can do is you can use in front of this uh, void a uh, keyword called new so this new keyword tells uh, c sharp that i want to or second class want to create uh, its own display method right so now when you run the program it even it still shows this sc dot display or sc colon display but the error or the warning is gone okay so now this kind of declaration wherever derived class want 
to hide the original method which is there in the base class then it can create its own method with the same name okay and it can it can hide this method okay now for example for some other reason some other user don't want to use this you want to use this only even if you have declared this so how can you show this after having or after method hiding of this this base class so there can be two or three ways of doing this first way let's comment this and first way what you can do is you can call your base class in here so what you can do is you can write base base means this class base is your, your base class and you are in the derived class so this base keyword automatically knows that you are indicating to the parent or to the base class so when i hover over this you can see here in the message that it's indicating fc class which is our base class so you can write base dot display okay and i will just give this bracket and semicolon and when i run this program it shows fc which is our base class colon colon display okay so whenever you want to display this uh, base class method even if you have defined your method hiding method in the derived class also then you can do it like this there are there is other way of doing uh, the same thing and i will show you in a moment this second method so what you can do here is you can typecast your second class as first class so for what you can do here you have your object sc object is equal to new sc so you have this object okay so what you can do is you can just copy your first class which is your base class and then you can just type cast this object as a first class okay and just give these brackets and just you can write dot so it should not look like this but this will come this fc will come in the bracket and now you have the, these brackets so now when you give the dot you have the display method right so you can display this method like this and you can comment this line so what this code will do is it will type cast your object as a base class and you already know that your derived class is just a special case of your base class right so derived class already have all the method or access to all the method and variable in the base class right and derived class can also have its own method but it has all the uh, access to its uh, public base class method right so this is called type casting uh, your object and when i run the program it will show fc colon colon display right and it will not show sc which is second class colon colon display okay now third way of doing this the same is so what you can do is i will just comment this once again and we are going to use the third method so what you can do is you can just copy your base class name which is fc in our case and i can make it a object so i will write obj and let me comment this line also so i will derive define an object of my base class 
and I will make an instance of new SC. Okay, so derived class. I will create an instance of second class which is derived class as an object of first class. Okay, and I will uncomment this. And when I run the program, it will give you the same res res result FC colon colon display. Okay, so what you have done is you have created the instance of your base class as a child class or a derived class. Okay, but if you uh, might be wondering that the reverse is also, also possible that you can do SC and here you can uh, derive this SC instance from first class which is your base class it will show you an error and the error shows that cannot implicitly convert your uh, base class to your uh, child class or derived class okay so this is not possible why this is not possible because your base class or your base class have or you you can create the instance of base class as a child class but you cannot create a child class instance as a base class okay so this is the third method you can use right so you have three uh, types of code from which you can call your base class method even if you have declared or redeclared this uh, same method in your derived class right now for example i have uh, a third class so i will copy and i will paste it here and i will write that this is a third class which is tc tc stand for third class and it is inheriting second class okay sc okay and i will just copy this tc and paste it here so this class also has the method display and it shows tc colon colon display okay and now i will create an object of this tc class and now i will run the program and i will just write object dot display so what method will be called let's see so tc dot display will be called right so you can hide this method also so which is derived class from the fc but now you are your second class is your base class in the case of third class and now you can even override or e you can even hide the method of your derived class like this by deriving from the derived class okay so i hope you have understood the basic concept of a method hiding in c sharp and I hope, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.